the Reds versus the Red Devils. Stratford and versus the Cop. The rivalry between Manchester United and Liverpool is one of the oldest and fiercest in all of football. In fact, for football fans, it may just be one of the biggest rivalries in modern life, giving cats versus dogs a run for its money. So why do fans from the two cities located 30 miles apart hate each other so much more than a number of local W opponents? The origins of the rivalry go back to the 19th century and they have nothing to do with the football field. During the Industrial Revolution of the early 19th century, Manchester and Liverpool were both thriving economically. Manchester was known as Cotonopolis due to its abundance of textile factories. Liverpool, on the other hand, benefited from being a port city, with vast quantities of goods flowing in and out of its docks. Towards the end of the prosperous century, however, the Manchester Ship Canal was completed. This meant ships no longer had to dock in Liverpool. They could carry up on the Mersey all the way to Manchester via canal. This trade route is why United and City both have ships on their crests, and it caused vast great resentment for the people of Liverpool, who lost potential income and jobs when the ships no longer stopped at the docks. So why don't Liverpool fans begrudge City supporters though? And why don't United fans hold grudge against Everton? The answer lies in both teams' history and heritage of success, and the fact that they each have a long-running expectation of winning trophies, often at the expense of one another. Although recently winning a UEFA Champions League, the Anfield side were a European powers in the 70s and 80s, winning 11 league titles and four European Cups from 1972 to 1990. Manchester United succeeded Liverpool as England's biggest team in the early 90s. Both clubs believe they are the greatest club in English football, and they have won 30 major trophies between them to prove it. The football rivalry goes back to pre times, but a notable point in its 20th century was the 1977 FA Cup Final. Liverpool had just won the league and were gunning for a treble at the European Cup Final with Borussia Mönchengladbach four days after the Wembley date. United denied Liverpool the treble with a hard 4-2-1 victory. Since Phil Chisner moved from United to Liverpool in 1964, not a single player has transferred between these two clubs. To put that disdain in perspective, nine players have moved between Barcelona and Real Madrid since then. In modern times, the rivalry has been intensified by actions of certain players. Wayne Rooney was raised on the blue side of Marzi and has made no secret of the fact that he grew up hating Liverpool. Former United captain Gary Neville also had a very few nice words to say about the Anfield side over the years, and his rivalry continues today in Sky Sports Studio with Jamie Carragher. In 2011, Luis Suarez made no friends at Old Trafford when he allegedly racially abused Patrice Evra, earning a ban and a fine for his actions. Vitriolic insults and unpleasant incidents between fans of the two teams show no signs of abating, while acts of hooliganism have certainly decreased since the 80s. A small and very unpleasant contingent of Liverpool fans have mocked much tenured with six songs about the Munich air disaster that claimed the lives of eight people. Certain United fans have returned the ill-judged taunting with songs smoking their Hillsborough and Hellsale tragedies. Fans have also been known to attack players. After the 1996 FA Cup final, decided by a superb goal from Eric Cantona, one Liverpool fan spat at the Frenchman and another attempted to throw a punch at Sir Alex Ferguson. Additionally, Liverpool fans are banned from the entrance to their way end at Anfield after an egg was thrown at Ferguson during the 90s. So yeah. We should now be prepared to witness a fierce football rivalry as Manu and Liverpool prepare to meet for the 207th time this Sunday. With players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Sadio Mane, Virgil van Dijk, Varane and arguably the best player in the world right now, Mohamed Salah, in display, this promises to be an exciting contest. This could also be Ole's last game in charge if he's beaten because he is under pressure right now. So that brings us to the end of the video, click the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel to get more football content videos. See you all in the next video, ciao ciao.